Yeah, <laughs> Sophie convinced me to do that. I remember it was summer of 2015 and I finished the thesis and I started applying to different um, roles, not just in Geneva, like anywhere, because, you know, I finished the Graduate Institute, I was like, the world is my oyster, where am I going to go? And I was already in the International Organization for Migration, working on like statistics and, and reporting for migrant assistance. So I was really on this path of like analysis and um, like pivot tables and Excel. So I just kept applying to things like this and I saw that there was this role at the ICRC as an associate or a trainee at the time they were called in economic security that would imply a lot of statistics. I studied economics at the Greta Institute and for my bachelor's as well. So the role made a lot of sense in the scope of the humanitarian world to join like at this economics and not so much development, but focusing on the economic needs of the people affected by conflict. The Career Services Center was super useful for me. They helped me to look at my CV, my cover letter. Um, I practiced um, interviews with them. I used the Career Center multiple times. That's how I found the IOM internship. So it's one thing as well, I don't shy away, even as an alumni, from using the Career Center because those resources were like, really, really valuable for me. So this team, I'm now, I'm still a data analytics manager, and the role is more about what are we doing on the ground, what are, what can we collect as statistics to be able to report to leaders, to dec decide how we want to do our next steps, and um, to report to also partners, because I'm in the mobilization movement and partnerships department. To be honest, even though I studied economics, I wasn't so keen on becoming like a bank-related super finance and tech person. So when I found the data analysis track, I was super happy with that because I like I always was doing research and really focused on like development economics and what's happening to people on the ground. Economics degree was like it was very specific. It was really economics and really math. Um, but that math and that ability to like do the analytics and work with Excel and work with different statistical programs comes in handy now. I've done data science certification, data visualization, and there's actually not a lot of people in the humanitarian sector that are doing these kinds of things. So the more people who are interested, if they're economic students now, who are thinking like, oh, it wouldn't be my like my role to go into something like humanitarian or the ICRC or something, it's not the truth at all. Like you could, you don't have to be a law student to work at the ICRC. I think because of the Geneva Conventions, a lot of people think that. Um, and I've learned a lot in political affairs and stuff by coming here. We did sometimes like small day trips and we went out partying sometimes. We found small parties here and there um, in Geneva. And um, in 2014, at the beginning of the year, they announced the Yashide Cabaret and that they were looking for people to audition. Whatever talent you have, you bring it. Outside of studying, I had not really found like my niche in Geneva yet and so this like in 2014 this cabaret like I still meet up and hang out with those friends um, and I actually through that I realized that dancing is one of the really important parts of my life that I even if I'm not on the stage or whatever I have to do this to to release energy so I mean I, I learned a lot while I was at the graduate institute not just economic stuff. 